Hello again, and welcome back to Dino Crisis. So, when we last left off, we tried to find Rick and Tom. Unfortunately, Tom has been killed off by the dinosaurs. And he's over there on the other side of that room over there. And it's a pretty nasty sight. So, now we're going to have to continue on with our mission to find a doctor. And all that, so... We're not going to let that stop us. And I've been doing a lot of adjustment with the volumes, especially my voice comments and all that, just to see if it matches because the last video sounds real loud. Alright, enough said, let's go. And before we do, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And make sure you press the notification bell to get notified. So with that out of the way, the search for the doctor continue. And I'm not sure if Tom actually did kill those, that raptor over there. But I'm not going to be guessing what it is. Let's just see if we can go to the other side or find a way to get in the other side. Alright, since we've seen that elevator, I know exactly where I leave to go. It's in one of the hallway where you get the map. And what's going on here? A raptor. So basically it was hiding in that small room over there. A tough looking wire needed nettle. It's been smashed by something with incredible strength. Yeah, I've already taken care of that. That's me pushing that raptor over there. Also this door leads to the second backup generator from the last video and I'm gonna be making my, my making my way to that area that I'm talking about so I'm gonna be doing some skipping in this video all right so we're here in this area I was supposed to go over there to the elevator but there's one place I forgot to go and yeah, I need to stop by there first before we can continue on. And we found a reptile right there. You know, I'm just gonna go inside here. That was a close one. Uh-oh, not good. Let me take care of him. And looks like he's dead. Alright, so... Now that we're here, even though I have to make some changes in the editing and all that, go to this place first, and you'll find the device for the ID. And there's a little memo over there. Yes, I would like to read it for a few seconds. All right, so basically that ex that's explaining the device for the ID card and getting the fingerprint of this somebody. So here's the device right there. And another plug. Let me just get this first. Another one of these discs.
Let me just sort this out so we can... Oh, was wrong button. Alright, let's see. Let me take this. And see if we can mix it up. Okay, I guess none. So we got everything what we need. So head back to the to the gate, front gate, and use the device on one of the bodies that is found into the area to get the ID. Somewhere over there. Go right in here and print his finger. FC device. And you already collected his data from his finger and all that. Now head to the area. Right behind this door, there's a room that we haven't checked in yet. This, this door over there. <clears throat> Alright, so you find a computer over there, and you have to activate it using one of the codes. File container, notice on our staff. Read it. Stabilizer. There's a memo on the whiteboard. Read it again. Okay. And there's also a phone right there, so you can use that to extension card. Page something over there, a researcher. No one is answering. If you set the line to hold, the phone will continue to ring automatically or paging, whatever. So I guess this Paul person is already offline or whatever. Now, there's a computer right here, so since you got the ID card and all that, make sure you use it to go through the access data and all that. Let me just put this card over here. Now type in the numbers. And mostly the number is kind of random, depending on what it is. So, one of the numbers actually pause, so the number is 58104. There you go. The other number at time is either 57036, but it already figures it out, so let's just check. Also, this has some things that 
If it's not right, then you have to use the other code. So let's just see if it works. No, it's not. So basically, that shows that it's not the right number. Luckily, we could try this again. Try this again and use the proper code. So let's try that, see if that actually worked. It actually matched, so basically I have to go over there to the dead body next to the gate of the heliport. That is the um, only body that I could print from the fingerprint. And let's just rewrite this again. Alright, so now that's taken care of. Let's go to the elevator. And let's see, the um, line is on hold. Alright, so... Let's just go over there to the elevator and act, go through it. And let me check in one of the little emergency box things so I can do some stuff. And there's the pager sound. He is wearing a white. I said it before. You have to stop the beeping of the pager. So that body over there is actually... One of the person I need to fingerprint, but I didn't know that. I was always drawn to the other guy instead. Let's see, before we do anything else, that's... Alright, I guess not, so... Let's just use the elevator. And get over there to find Gail and the doctor. More jump scares. There we go. And you know what, let me just change this to slags because I'm already out of the good stuff. Oh, there's another one of this thing. Hold up. I need to read this that I didn't check. Volume something number one, I don't know. DDK. Actually, I already just told everyone about this. Oh, and there's also a map I didn't check. Just get the data from it and you saved it and all that. And basically I haven't even used the map all this time, so that's completely pointless me using that. Anyway, you find yourself this thing. So you know the drill. All right, so let's see what this is about now. L.A.B. So basically, the password is laboratory. So it's just tricking you like that. Instead of letters, it's now replaced with numbers to remove. more of these dinosaurs. Wait. Oh, I was using the SSG instead of the other one.
takes a while to shoot these guys. And apparently he is. Alright, now he's dead. As soon as he hit that thing, I'm gonna make a run for it. And there's another emergency box thing. And lucky me, look how much of the stuff is there. Let me just change some of the stuff that I need. Stuff. Nice. Alright, so it looks like I made it into the com somehow this control room. And I don't need that for now. Right now. Volume 2 for this vile thing. Alright, in this computer, this experimental area control program running, an auto lock solution standard status on. Release the locks, and I'm gonna enter the codes. So I'm guessing the lock is 7248. Huh, oh, look at that. It's confirmed that the gas experiment room is unlocked, so let's go over there. And here, this is a slot that you have to put in two cards in. Insert the card. A slot to insert the key card. There's an identical slot in the operating slot. Yes, yeah, so it looks like I have to go over there and see what that's about. And I find myself a screwdriver. It's a notification regarding the panel next to it. Warning, do not open, do not touch the panel unless it's a lock system. Manufacturing the circuit inside this panel support this electric power and needed in the, for the focus release of the lock. And whatever. And I got another plug thing. And this is the gas room, meeting room, research. But over there in the next door, there's another room, which is the gas. And let's see what else up. Researcher's journal. Third energy problems. enough of that. Poison level under 30 may neutralize the gas. Red gas neutralize the poison in the green gas. Blue gas neutralize the poison of the orange gas. Green gas neutralize purple. Remember these rulers when mixing the gas. Alright, so you're almost there to your next puzzle, which is the gas room. 
Oh, hold up for a second. There's also a computer panel right here. It looks like I have to turn on the other code. Or it just shows me the code right there that I'm supposed to use in the thing, but whatever. I already took care of that. So let's go in there. And we are here in the gas room. And there's somebody over there in that dying. Almost holding their breath. There's a three button. There are three buttons there. They are used to supply the gas to the gas chamber. All right, so randomly just carefully randomly press any of these colors to neutralize them. So I'm guessing orange is... Nope. Wrong button. Let's try blue. Just press some of them buttons randomly to lower the whole thing. And that was pretty easy. So let's go into the other room and see what this guy has to say. You're gonna be okay. What happened? That fool. Who are you talking about? What are you planning, Kurt? I'm here on the rescue team. Where is Dr. Kirk? Here. This looking glass is to his personal. And we got ourselves a slot. Key slot for something. That's handwritten. This guy must have died. Holding his breath, or whatever. Couldn't hold his breath any longer, so rest in peace. Let's just get out of here. And of course, there's another one of these dinosaurs. We could just kill him in here with our gun, or trap him and poison him. Okay, there we go. Blue is poisonous. And that takes care of that. I was going to say something inappropriate. That the dinosaur died instead of the gas. Poison gas, it was something else, but... That's pretty immature, so let's just keep moving. And there's another one of these. I don't think I need any of them right now. <sighs> Wrong button. Yeah, I'm good for now. Let me just blow these guys up. I'm just gonna wait for him to come charging at me. There we go. Yeah. 
Switch this with the poison dart, and let's see what he's capable of doing. If he ever pops out. Ah, oh, what do we have here? Just give me a moment, I'm just checking around. Alright, looks all clear. And I got a handgun sight. Critically destructive rate increase. Use the um, two different kinds of g ammo. Let me see if I try to exchange this with the 40SW thing. It's pretty big damage, I'm trying to say. <coughs> Alright, so since we're here, go to this monitor thing. And place that chip that I found earlier ago. And just like an on the chip, press the um, codes on. And there's going to be another puzzle. Pretty simple puzzle, though. Let's just rewrite this whole thing. And there's another one. So just match up all the blocks thing to this one on the bottom. If I mess up, I could just reset it. And there you go. Let me just upload this whole thing, rewrite it, and the whole, hold up, one of the cabinets will be showing the light, so we're gonna have to go over there. Let me just find it first. And place the card right there to get what you need. Simple as that. Okay, the art card. R card. The memo's inside it, so let's just read that. Alright, basically, I can't tell if that's either for the things for that I needed. Not the things, but the cards for both sides or something in the office. I need to read that when I have a chance. And he's awake. In front of... And this one popped out from out of nowhere, so we're gonna ignore them. So again, these thing, these dinosaurs manage to pop out randomly, depending on how close the doors are. So now that's out of the way, let's try to contact our teammate to see if we can open this whole thing. And just use the right. You will need an assistant in order to release the lock. 
Will you call Gail? I have no choice, but yes. Regina? I finally made it to the entrance of the doctor's lab. Good work. The door looks like it needs two people working in tandem to unlock it. Sit tight. I'll be right there. So, what's our status? Here, take this. Ready? Okay, on three. One, two, three. Well, looks like there's a secret room under this thing. So, thanks, Gail. You're all clear. Let's go. I'll go. And just like before, we're going to have to do the lock again. And the next password is energy. I just messed up all up. There we go. Now let's see what's in this room now. Looks pretty. Some sort of glowy energy thing. So basically, that is actually one of the energy that causes all these dinosaurs to appear. Well, let's just see what this booklet says. Ignitia. I don't know how to pronounce it right. Initializer or stabilizer. Alright, so. Giant creatures, huh? I wonder what those can be. Now, get okay, back to this panel. And you can only... Bring it back again if you want. Simulator. There are three switches on the panel, so A, ignite the third energy circuit, B, set the ignitizer, and set the stabilizer. So basically, I just press them neither. Well, actually, no. If you just press one of them wrong, they won't show. But based on simple order, it will work. I'm going to try to do Y first. All right. Y. Well, not Y, but looks like a symbol of Y. Alphabet. Let's try that again. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh. Uh, let's try B. Stabilizer. Ignitizer. Ignit. I don't know how to pronounce it. And the last one. Oh, there's that portal thing. Pretty. Because there's no energy enough for the simulator, the system cannot be started. So unfortunately, that's all I can do. Alright. I don't think there's anything... Except, let me try to mix up these things, or just sort it out. No, let me just use one of the items, since I'm not hurt or anything. Hmm, almost there. And let me just mix up the... Okay, I don't have any more stuff to mix, so let's just do that for now. Time to contact Gail to see what's going on. Tell him that the doctor's not there. He's not here. Why? This operation is taking way too long already. Warning. The emergency system has been activated. The emergency lockdown. What's going on? No. Kirk must have tripped off the security system. What's your status, Regina? I'm reading an emergency lockdown in your section. Trapped in 
inside here. Kirk must have triggered it off. We didn't touch anything. Can you clear it? I'll see what I can do. What's wrong with this thing? Cool it, Gale. We'll find a way out somewhere. Yes, we will. And from the looks of this, I say that he is trying to find out how to release the lock of this room. While we can go over here earlier, where the sign says the energy in something, electric. So, the thing that you find, the screwdriver, use it so you can unlock this thing. If you can just find it someplace. I'm gonna have to just read it again, right there. Now, use the screwdriver to open it. If I could do that. Man, I'm really lost losing my voice. If this is actually the right part. There we go. And it's on the other side, not the one over there. I'm such an idiot. And you have yet yet another puzzle to do. So just like the last one, match the sample on the picture by rotating these pictures here and there. And you get the puzzle done. Let's just try this again. There we go. Very simple, just randomly rotated in one notch. The emergency lockdown has been bypassed. You have ten minutes until this section is sealed off. We'd better get moving. We bypassed the door lock and we're on our way out. That's great. But the entire underground area is crawling with dinosaurs. You'll never be able to make it through there. Don't sweat it. I'll take them all out one by one if I have to. Brilliant plan, fearless leader, but I have a better one. These readouts tell me there's an emergency escape hatch in the dock's private quarters. You should be able to make a clean break for this. Are you sure? Yeah, but there's one problem. The hatch is password locked through the mother's Forget it. If you can't crack the code before the dinosaurs rush in, we'll be completely trapped. I know. You just have to trust me. They don't. Okay, we have two choices. Gale's strategy, break through the area with skills and whatnot, or Rick's strategy, cooperate with Rick and escape through the hatch. Of course, I'm going to be using Rick's idea. So let's head back to this room and see if we can try to break the code. And I also have a sheet of paper in case I messed up, because I will try to explain how this whole strategy code what notch or whatever is worked I'm just push this out of the way and you will find yet another custom thing for your sh weapon so I'll just use your shotgun and this thing see what it is oh, hold up and looks like a PA3 shotgun All right, enough said. Let's do this code thing. There's a hatch right there, and there's the monitor, so let's get to it.
Alright, so as you can see, you have to match up the card to get the access and all that. When the cards switch, you know, from the alphabet, you have to match it up exactly. Otherwise, if you get all crooked of what you're doing, you get that incorrect. So it's E A, root of all evil. B B A. Wait for it. And you get it right. F D D F D D F That's too many FDs and all that. <laughs> So let's put this whole thing on. And let's see if this works. Alright, we're done. Alright, so the whole thing is going to get very difficult. So I'm going to purposely mess this up just to get, give you an idea of what happened if I don't get it right I mean we already know that but just to show you know so you can tell that it's getting difficult all of it flipping and you have to get the last one that's the answer so let's just put an A and see what we get that's incorrect Alright, so now that's taken care of, let's put in the correct code. I just hope I don't forget and all that in pressing the wrong one. Did all that for nothing. So it's C, B, B, I'm, F, F, B, what am I saying? If I'm just pressing the wrong one, then all of that is for nothing. Let's see, cross my finger. Yes! I will. So there you have the codes and all. Let me see if I can mix this up so I can get the... whatever is over there. I guess not, so... Looks like we're gonna have to forget all these items back there and get out of here. And there I am running out of the underground hallway. So let's go up in the hatch. Hold it. Dr. Kirk, we've come to help. We're representatives from your nation's government. My nation? <laughs> I'm touched. And what do you government agents want with me? Shut up. You're coming with us if I have to knock you out and drag you back myself. Well, according to the government, I'm officially deceased, correct? If that's the way you want it, I'd be more than happy to oblige. So what'll it be, genius? Relax, Agent. My study is nearing its final stages. Magnificent, isn't it? But I can't leave before I've analyzed the final results. I don't give spit about your results. I'm taking you back under orders, so shut up and follow me. Regina, locate the communication facility and call in the extraction channel. We can't do this! I have rights! According to command, your government property is now. I suggest you take it up with them. No! They can't do this to me! They deserted me three years ago and now they want me back? This is preposterous! Shut up. Where's the communication?
communication room. Take the elevator up from the control room. I need a card to access that elevator. I know you've got one. Hand it over, Doc. Fine. So, we're all set then. I'll meet you at the heliport. Hey, wait, where are you going? I have a little unfinished business to take care of. I'll drop this guy off with Rick. Now get moving. Unfinished business? Alright, so now we're going to have to go back to where Rick is. And see if we can get to that ele the elevator over there into the control room. So this is going to take a while again. But likewise, we're going to be doing a little editing magic throughout. Because I don't want to deal with all this going on. And I'm pretty sure there are more of these things over there. Dinos. So let's go over there and see what we can do. Alright, so now that we're here, let's go see what we can do with the elevator. And let's just close this door just to be sure nothing gets over there. And looks like Gail beat me to Rick with the doctor. But that's okay, let's just put in the ID and go into the communicator room. And there it is. It's too short for the whole thing, you know. Let me just check if I have enough. Yeah, Paul. This thing. I can't speak. Really, I can't. List of frequent parent to communication signal. Destinations. So, this is the monitor that I had to contact, but I, the antenna doesn't seem to work, so I'm going to have to go to the same area that we came through. Let me just get this box thing. Antenna activated key for an emergency use only. Just get it anyway. There it is. And head to the antenna room. And it's the same location that came earlier before. And I have a distinct feeling that something's going to happen, so I'm going to have to prepare myself. Let me just change my Darth to this, just to be sure. And place the antenna key here so we can get a better reading. The activation key has been set. Activation is complete. I can't read it because the text is moving too fast. And there's the antenna. Already set up. Now we have to head back to the area. But I feel that there's another boss fight coming up.
basically just shoot him until he gets too close. One. Two. Three. Four. Well, that was quick. on its way here. Great. Don't waste any time. And remember, use the main entrance to get to the heliport. Alright, so we're gonna have to go to the location where we found the heliport all the way in front of the front gate. And don't mind the sounds in the background again, as always. So just run all the way to the front gate as quickly as you can. It's pretty simple. Just to dodge all these dinos on the way. Because I'm not in the mood to fight one of them. I'll just use this instead. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much losing my voice and everything I'm trying to say, all that, again. Just to be sure, into the main hallway, and to this door, and you made it. Not just yet. Oh great, more of these birdies, pteranodons, whatever. It's kind of funny how sometimes this place takes place during the night, like every horror experience, like movies, games, doesn't matter. Alright, that since you made it, Keep on going, because there's more of these dinosaurs heading your way. And I believe I hear one of them. So I'm just going to use my poison dart for one of them. Damn it, I missed. Man, I'm terrible. Oh well, just dodge them. Just ignore them. And let me check the map. I'm always going to get killed because I stopped at the wrong time, of course. Other way. And you got yourself another puzzle. Let me just climb up here first. And you notice there's a hella top, hella port nearby, the sign. Just get this health out of the way. There we go. And you'll see these crates in this part, which represents the puzzle. You gotta move out of the way. And we found ourselves a new weapon. The grenade gun. And over here is also grenade bullets as well. Just collect enough of them because I'm also for sure that there's gonna be yet another boss fight with that T-Rex. Alright, so let's see what this puzzle is dealt with. Just try to move one of these crates, this one particularly. Because if you try to move the wrong one, it's gonna mess up and you have to go back and forth to the room and start over. 
Now move this one, the first one, right here. Make it look almost like a Mickey Mouse shape in this one. Now move the other one here. And move the last one all the way to the bottom. This bottom. That side and push the other one on the top. And that concludes this puzzle for today. Let me see if there's another grenade rounds. Nope. Well, let me see if I can mix it up. Just to see if I can make it up for the poison darth. Alright, that's good for now. There's another one of these grenade bullets. Alright, let's see if the others are here. You okay, Regina? Where's Gail? I don't know. Haven't heard a word from him. What's he doing? Finally. You know, I had a really bad feeling about this mission. All things considered, it could have been a lot worse. That's odd. Something must have those animals spooked. And you have to jinx it. We also have our another boss fight with the T-Rex. That was pretty quick counter from the last one. Now I'm not certain, but we're gonna have to use our grenade on him just to distract him or not. Or you can just wait it out until Rick fixed the elevator. He just missed me. So try to circle. Oh, there he is. Well, I was gonna say wait it out for a bit, but I guess shooting a lot managed to quick things up. So now that's out of the way, head to the elevator and escape from the T-Rex clutches, I guess. Simple as that. We're screwed. The chopper's history. How are we gonna get out of here? Calm down. We'll just have to find another way. Ma, oh, come on. You're never this positive. find another way. Looks like we're in the other gr underground now. So we're good for now from that T-Rex. And now I got and I am not going to waste any more the good bullets. Because I have a feeling that something is going to be popping soon. 
Something small, actually. These things again. Compies. That's a weird name. And that's all of them. Now head to the area where Rick is first to see what's going on with the elevator over there. More repairs. This whole facility is probably held together with tape and glue. I think I can fix this, but it'll take some time. Of course it'll take it some time. So, like I said before, head to that room we just passed and find the card And no more of these things popping out. Head to this area. And you'll find a card right there. I'm just take care of these guys. The CO pass card. And there's some files on the floor. Dead man left a memo. Okay, so it explains that there's a secret escape entrance in the basement, third floor to the basement. Will you take the end? Oh. Looks like I got this. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the basement three to get to the escape route that it says before. So let's go back to Rick to see if he fixed the elevator. And if I'm not mistaken, this is also this area, the same area that people assume that Dr. Kirk died in. Apparently he didn't, but there was an accident over there, so, yeah. Are you done yet? What do you mean? Of course. Let's get moving. So, I think I found a way out of here. Right on, girl. Let's hear it. Don't ever say girlfriend like that. Or did he just say girl? I didn't hear that. Okay, we're here again. Now what? We should be able to get to the underground port from here. Yeah. Then let's do it. Hurry. I'm worried about Gale. Our fearless leader? Fine. Let's move out. This piece of junk must have blown a fuse. What's going on? The power went up. Gail, are you on floor B3? Yeah, get the power online now. Gail, it looks like there's a port nearby. There's got to be a ship we can use. Copy. Leave Kirk to me. You two get the power back online and secure our escape. And we are in B3. Pretty big door, don't you think? This 
ladder is completely dead. Looks like we're going to have to find a new battery. So go into this area to find one. And of course, we can't go any further in this area or any in the ugh. We cannot go in any other rooms because the power is already dead. And we're locked over there. So let's just check around here to see if we can find the batteries. Let me just push this out of the way first. Let me just mix something up. Guess not. And there's one of the batteries, so I'll take it out. Thank you very much for the white battery. Now head back to Rick and place it over there so we can turn on everything. Oh, Ricky boy, I found a spare part of spare battery. I meant. Perfect. This is all we need to restore the power. I'll work on the security system. You handle our escape. Alright, that's taken care of. Let's check around this part of the place to get through this. Ugh. <sighs> I really need to speak up more. And this needs a CO area key, so we can't get it now. And I'm going to quit this video real soon. Ah, uh, right. Inventory is big, of course. Something extra no extraordinary powerfully smashed into the shutter from the other side. There maybe have been some sort of explosion involved since it smells like gasoline. Yes, it does. And we made it to the next control room. This is still nothing. Oh, there's a memo right there. And I'm guessing Rick is over there on the other side, fixing something. Weapon storage, huh? Three crank, two crank cards, I meant. And there's another one. Hmm. Let's see what Rick's up to. Well, I definitely reached the system's core. These, these security protocols are brutal. Finally, a challenge worthy of my talents. Yep, that's Rick for you, computer geek. Let me just get something over there and. Call it quits. Another plug. Just one. Alright, so looks like I'm gonna have to call it quits for today. So, thank you again for watching my video. And I'm kind of sorry that I'm not talking too much. Chatter, no? So, yeah, I'm gonna continue on real soon. So, as always, make sure to leave a like, comment down below subscribe and press the notification bell so until then i will see you again in the next video